Do you want kids? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a little Q&A with you guys. I asked you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, so I took note of them and I will be answering them for you today. Well, the first question I got was, who are your favorite YouTubers? My favorite YouTubers are probably uh, David Dobrik, Shane Dawson, David Dobrik, Shane Dawson, and Hannah Mosho, probably my top three favorite. The second question I got was, when's the wedding? So for those of you who don't know and are just newly subscribed or just checking into this video, I am engaged. I was engaged last year and we actually haven't decided on the date yet. We haven't set it. We're taking our time with it and we're waiting till we know that we're at a time where family and friends can be with us and yeah. The next question I got was, can you make another video explaining BPD in more detail? Yes, I can make another video. I didn't think it was that much of interest uh, to make a new one because I put a lot of information in the other one. If you guys haven't checked that out, I'll link it down below and you guys can go watch that. But yeah, I might uh, make a more detailed explanation of it if you want. The next question was, how long have you and your boyfriend been together? We have been together for a long time. Uh, we've actually been together since 2013, so we're coming up on our six years in June 28th, but uh, yeah, it's been a while. The next one is, what are your biggest struggles with anxiety? My biggest struggles with anxiety is probably having the courage to go somewhere where I've already had like anxiety. So for example, if for some reason I have a panic attack somewhere, I will think of having a panic attack in that area or with that person and I won't want to do anything. <laughs> so yeah, but I'm trying to get myself out there. I'm trying to communicate and go out more, so yeah. The next question is, what's it like to have BPD? It's pretty stressful, <laughs> to put it lightly. Um, it's actually a pretty difficult thing. You know, your emotions are extremely heightened Sorry if you hear noise, it's construction, and it's really annoying. Um, yeah, I think BPD, it's like you just, you feel every emotion 10 times worse. So if I'm mad, I'm extremely mad. If I'm sad, I'm extremely sad. Uh, same goes for if I'm happy or whatever. So I hope that answers it. Do you take meds? Uh, I do take meds. I take prescribed meds for my anxiety and my depression. So yeah. Favorite accomplishments. My favorite accomplishments would probably getting uh, the journalism award when I graduated from high school, which is also another accomplishment because I didn't think I would. Another accomplishment would probably be this channel and and the medals I won in figure skating. That was a huge accomplishment. The next question is, how do your friends react about your eye? <laughs> I got multiple people asking this question. Uh, just in general, how do people react? At first, well, it wasn't really mentioned till I mentioned it. Uh, people were freaked out in elementary school when I was, oh yeah. For those of you who don't know, I am blind in one eye, so yeah, that's why that question was asked to me, but when I was in elementary school, it was different because we were very immature, and so I would go around with a patch or I would have my eye all red because of the surgery, 
and yeah I used to get made fun of for that so people would call me like d different names but mostly pirate um, high school people didn't really believe it at first when I would tell them and then they would actually test me and make me do this thing where I would have to put my hand up to my eye that was working so that they could see if I actually couldn't see. Um, it got pretty annoying, but it, it's also hard to believe when someone's just walking around in school. It's hard to believe someone say, yeah, I'm blind in one eye. Like, thank you, truck. Thank you so much. You're not welcome. Anyways. But yeah, but they don't really treat me any differently and it's never really brought up uh, for those who are really close to me, so it doesn't really bother me at all. The next question is, how do you deal with loss? I don't think there is a specific way to deal with loss. I think for everyone, dealing with loss is very different and that's why if you are struggling, it is really good to get help. I've, I've done it before and it, it works. But personally, just knowing that they are always still present with me, uh, I'm very spiritual, so I know that they're present and on the journey with me still, so that's how I tend to deal with it. The next question is, do you have music coming soon? I do, and I actually just announced it. Um, I have a single coming out called Clouds and I'm really proud of it, so I hope you guys go listen to it. It comes out June 1st. The next question was a bit odd, um, but I'll answer it. Who would you take a bullet for? I would probably take a bullet for anyone. Uh, if I were to have the choice of having a bullet in me or someone else, I would obviously choose myself. That is just the way I am. The next question is, do you have any more haunting stories? I do. I have tons more to tell you guys about, so keep a lookout for videos on some story times. Do you want kids? I do not. I'm very well aware that my mental disabilities could affect my child, so I would not have kids. But, yeah. What are your favorite clothing pieces? I like anything that is somewhat baggy, <laughs> comfortable. I don't like to wear things that aren't comfortable. And if I do wear something that's not comfortable, it's for a very short amount of time. So maybe for a selfie. But other than that, I like to dress really comfortably. And I not a huge fan of dresses. I'd consider myself more of like a tomboy and I've always been like that. I haven't been a really big dress person. You usually see me in jeans or shorts or joggers. You know what I mean? The next question is how are you always smiling? I love to smile and I smile especially at people because I think that it could possibly make their day that much better. Smiling is really, really good to practice. Even if you're not happy, smiling will elevate your mood. So if you're in a really, really bad space or if you're really upset, just force yourself to smile. Just be like, like, <laughs> you know what I mean? And it actually will uh, put you up. Favorite trait of yourself. My favorite trait would probably be probably My favorite trait would probably be how nice I am. I'm very kind. I understand people a lot and just in general, I'm a really loving person. I pay a lot of attention to people and yeah, I'm just really really kind and Everything I do is really meaningful to me. The next question is, how tall are you? I am five foot, although my family would like to say I'm four nine. But I believe I'm five foot. 
my little brother who is going into grade seven in the this year he actually just surpassed my height and i'm 21 so yeah the next question is favorite song of yours my favorite song of mine is probably honey it's the one that just recently came out that was probably that was really i just worked really hard on that song so if you guys want to show it some love i'll link it down below this was an interesting question it's can you do videos on weight loss you have an amazing body first of all thank you and second of all i am not entirely sure if i would make that kind of video and if i did I would have to be in a much better headspace. I just re recently went through a lot of weight gain and a lot of weight loss. So I, maybe that's what you're referring to because I lost so much weight uh, if you're an older subscriber. What pisses you off most? Lies. Lies piss me off the most. I feel like no one should have the right to lie to anyone and I just think it's very useless and just ignorant to lie when it would be so much easier to just tell the truth from the start and not cause problems. It's just really important to always tell the truth to people and not being upfront with them is a really big problem. Next question is, do you have Twitter? I do have Twitter. It's Heidi Shea underscore, just like my Instagram. And I always leave that information in my description. What do you live by? I live by being kind, understanding, And just being an all-in-all -all good person. That's how I was. That's how I was raised. Last question is: How many siblings do you have? I have two siblings. I have my little brother Edward, which you guys have seen a video of him with me in the past. If you guys haven't seen it, I will link that below as well. But yeah, I have Edward, who is going into grade seven. And I have my other younger brother, James, who is growing up so fast. Uh, he's 19 now, so yeah. I love my brothers both very, very much. And they're probably the most funny and ridiculous people I've ever known on this earth. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that little Q&A. I will talk to you guys next time on Monday. Please subscribe if you haven't already, like this video if you enjoyed it, and maybe comment down below what you would like to see next. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!